How's it going? I'm Russell James. It is, I'm in London, and it is Sunday the 31st of July. And I've decided to do a weekly vlog. Okay, so just hold on there for a second. So as you heard me say with the date there, this is a story that started about a month ago. So I decided to do a weekly vlog. And I wanted to make the story of that first weekly vlog about us going to Wilderness Fest. Which essentially was a great idea. The only problem was I wasn't really prepared to do my first vlogging at Wilderness. Because I didn't have the batteries, I didn't have the memory power, my MacBook doesn't last for a couple of hours without the battery going. And I just had so much to do that week, that you'll see in a second, that I didn't have time to get it all together. So I ended up just going to Wilderness Festival, having a great time, but not vlogging it. And then I left it a few weeks, and that's where we are now, me making a vlog. So what I'm gonna show you, this first part of this week's vlog, is me starting that vlog over a month ago. And then when you see me back here, then you'll know that we're back in the present time. So enjoy the vlog. decided to do a weekly vlog and there's a few reasons for this. I really want to put the food in my life into context. Like my life is so much more than about food even though I'm a raw food chef and I want to show you what else goes on in my life with a weekly vlog and to show you that huge uh, food is a huge part of it but it's not everything and so I want to fill in the gaps. Another reason is that I'm a horrible blogger like, I find it kind of difficult to put my thoughts into words and to write them on a page, but I love creating video. So, from now on, from this week on, for forevermore, or for as long as I can do it, I'm gonna do a weekly vlog. So let's get into it. So, this week's episode starts with wilderness. Before I get to that, I just need to tell you a quick story. So, Natasha and I aren't together anymore, and we'd already agreed to go to Wilderness Fest together, though, so we were kind of like, we gonna go together still? We're still good friends. So we've decided to go together, but I'm gonna need another tent. I'm gonna get the tent out that I used to use for fishing when I was like 20 years old. And there's no word of a lie, this tent may well not have been opened for at least 20, 15 or 20 years. So I'm gonna go and check it out and put this thing up in the garden before the sun goes down tonight and see if it's actually still livable. to put up a tent without eating his cow salad. shirt to be putting up tents with and go and change. That's better. Let's do this. Yeah, um, no, it's not that gross inside. I think the rats got at it when, uh, when it was in my dad's shed. Check this out. Holes, hole, hole, hole. So that's not gonna work. So I think I'm gonna to have to buy a new tent. I'm kind of glad that it's like definitely no good because I think one of my biggest fears was that it was kind of gonna be all right, a little bit stinky, but I put up with it. Can't do anything now, so maybe I'll go on Amazon and have a look. But we'll get back to it Monday morning. Okay, so Monday morning. I've got a ton of stuff to do this week if I'm gonna be out going to Wilderness for Thursday. I've got a webinar this evening and the rest of the day to sort out my to-do list. Three, two, one, let's 
So workout done, gonna head to Juice Baby, get some treats, post-workout treats, and then I'll be working, go back home, probably start working at two, and just be working through till we 9 p.m., 10 p.m. maybe, see what we can get done. So that's how far I got with it. It just kind of ended there. I realized that I didn't have enough memory or enough battery power to do any kind of vlogging at Wilderness, and I just went and had a great time. So we're back in the present day now. This is this week's vlog. Enjoy. Saturday morning, um, I'm heading off to Amy's house. Some of you may know Amy Levin. She's done a chocolate course with us at therawchef.com. And really excited. We're heading over, I'm heading over there this morning. I've got my props here, doing some photography. We're gonna take some photographs of some chocolate stuff that she's making, some truffles, some kind of peach roll thing. I don't know, I'm flying blind here. I haven't seen it. I'm really excited to see it. Excited to get the photographs done. So uh, let's head over there. for that. Cheers. Thanks. Making a blog, do you want to be in it? So we're done with the shots. We've got some really good shots of this stuff and I got some goodies. Lots of stuff to get involved with when I get back. So I'm just waiting for the taxi at the moment. We'll head back and um, get these photos on the computer, see how they look. Okay, I'm back home now. Uh, got all my stuff out of the taxi, ready to go. And the best thing about this, apart from getting all the shots on the computer and seeing how they look, is the goodies. Let me show you the goodies. I always come back from Amy's with lots of goodies. Chocolate breakfast rolls. We got some salted ganache tarts. Look at those babies. All the recipes for these, by the way, are gonna be on therawchef.com um, over the next few months. We're probably gonna do one a month alongside my, my weekly recipe. And I'm on a little bit of chocolate high right now. Truffles, these are mango truffles. This is the ganache tarts. I don't really do much editing, but you can see the difference in these two pictures. This one, it's not exactly the same picture, but coloration wise, it looked exactly the same. And just with a few different changes on the sliders and get it looking like that. So it's Monday morning, um, it's a uh, bank holiday here in the UK which means that not everyone works. I'm going to be working today but I normally go to CrossFit in the evenings but seeing as there's only morning classes I'm going to uh, I'm going to go this morning, get my workout in. <laughs> just stop in the park here for a second. This morning was the first time I've used my alarm in many, many weeks. And the reason that I use my alarm is because I've got into this habit of just messing around on my phone in the evenings, staying up to one or two a.m., not really doing anything. And so I read this quote from Gandhi the other day, and the quote is, action expresses priorities. And so the interesting thing for me here is we can all tell ourselves stories, right? I can definitely tell myself a story that my priority is my health and my priority is looking after myself so that I can fully express myself and bring everything I want to in the world creatively and, you know, in terms of my mission. And if anybody asked me what my priorities were, it would absolutely be to make sure I get good rest and I look after myself so I'm fresh and able to do those things. But what's my action say? How is my action expressing my priorities? My action is to think about on my phone for a couple of hours at night I'll just do the same on my computer and not really get anything done and stay out till 1 or 2 a.m. and make myself tired the next day and that's not what I want my priorities to be. I want my priorities to line up with what I'm trying to achieve in the world and so the only way to do that is to shift my day from the evening to the morning. So I set my alarm this morning, I needed to come to CrossFit early anyway as I said because it's bank holiday but 
I'm just gonna get a little bit earlier and earlier. I mean, I set my alarm for like 8.30 this morning. I actually woke up just past eight o'clock, feeling pretty fresh, despite going to bed again at 2 a.m. So I'm gradually gonna move my day into the mornings. And I love being a morning person. I, I was an early riser for, for many, many weeks and months, getting up at 6 a.m. And it feels so good to get a head start at that time of the day. So that's what I'm gonna do. showered, gonna get into my food. You know, sometimes it's just nice to have food made for you, you know? Okay, so it's Tuesday morning. It's too bright here. I got to bed about 12.30 last night. Still felt myself slipping into that um, habit of messing around with my phone, doing stuff on my computer. I managed to get to sleep probably about uh, 12.30. Set my alarm for eight o'clock. Woke up at like 6.30, kind of naturally. It's halfway through the morning now. And ironically, last night, one of the things that I was doing on my phone was reading an article about being an early riser. And it talked about the first few hours in the morning like the first two or three hours are really your like golden zone of from when you wake up where you are you're fully refreshed you've got no um decision fatigue going on right you haven't had to make a load of decisions you haven't got the fatigue of um, people trying to contact you and doing all that stuff in the day so how i've got my day set up at the moment is to get up at uh, a decent time like 5 a.m 6 a.m have those first few hours and really not be contactable not checking social media not checking slack email anything until midday and then at midday then i can go into emails and get stuff done um it's really come from a place of making sure that i'm whole because you can only really truly give when you're full right and i feel like there's a lot of people out of the world at the moment talking about you know, hustling and getting stuff done and, you know, surviving on little sleep. And a couple of years ago, I, I had some borderline um, adrenal fatigue. You know, I caught it early enough. I'm just very aware of needing enough sleep, especially doing hard physical exercise. You know, I do CrossFit most days, probably five or six days a week. I'm working out really, really hard. And the only way that you're going to grow and um, not completely burn yourself out you know, running a business and also working out that hard is by getting good sleep and nourishing yourself um, with the right type of food. Now, obviously, I've got the food taken care of, but I have to be really, really careful of my sleep and making sure I'm getting enough sleep. You heard this expression that one hour sleep before midnight is worth two hours sleep after midnight, and it's so true. I just feel totally different. Sleeping 2 a.m. till 10 a.m. is so different from sleeping like 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. It just feels so much more refreshing. So I'm taking that into account with all this, with this experiment. And I'm also taking into account the fact that apparently we sleep in 90 minute cycle. Multiples of 90 minutes is ideal. I'm gonna be shooting for like seven and a half hours sleep. Maybe one day a week on my day off, I can shoot for nine hours sleep. Okay, I'm just off on my way out. It's Wednesday afternoon. I didn't do too well with um, going to bed early enough. And I think therein lies the problem with getting up early enough. It's going to bed early enough. And that's the thing, you know, everyone talks about the morning routine, but a morning routine is no good without a nighttime routine. Thank you. Yep. She's running it a little bit late. Okay, no it's worries. Like 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. I'll take a seat, it's all good. Thank you. Thank you. So I made an evening routine list. 10 p.m., screens off, phone off, set my alarm at 10, magnesium bath. I need something to just signify the end of the day, to go into a process of, it's time to go to sleep now. It's time for my body to start getting ready to go to sleep. And then I'll just go to bed and read for as long as I need to, just keep it simple. Man, I had to get off that tube early. It was so hot and sweaty down there. I got off a couple of stops before and I'm gonna go and get a Boris bike and ride home, but I've got to be quick because I've got to go there. I've got to be at CrossFit by 7.30. I'm 
about one minute from home now and I've got 15 minutes to get home, uh, get changed into my workout clothes and make a protein smoothie. Okay, so the reason it's so important I'm going to a CrossFit tonight is because uh, tomorrow is my rest day because on Friday, on Friday I'm doing what they call a benchmark workout in CrossFit. So it's a particular workout called FRAN, which is like the benchmark uh, CrossFit workout. So the idea is that you do it once, so I do it today and then I'll do it like in, in another six or seven months and uh, hopefully I'll have got faster. It's my first time doing it, I've been doing CrossFit for about six or seven months anyway now. So I, I don't know what my first one would have been, but um, it's, a, it's a big chance to uh, see where I'm at. I'm gonna have a rest day tomorrow, Thursday. Gonna go to yoga tomorrow if I can fit it in. I've got four minutes to make this protein smoothie and get out the house. Water, protein, vanilla cream stevia, banana, frozen strawberries. <laughs> Workout done, as you might be able to tell from my red face. I always go really red faced for some reason when I'm doing a workout like that. So I've got time to get back on a bike and head to Whole Foods, pick up some magnesium flakes and then start my nighttime routine as soon as possible with my bath, turn off all my screens, just go to bed and read. 